Welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor. One thing you can do to increase productivity and save time is to specify a location where AutoCAD will automatically look for your color style tables. In this video, I'll show you how to add that location in the options dialog box. Let's get started. Let's say I have this drawing that I'm ready to plot to a PDF or to a paper or whatever. I can go to the plot dialog box <clears throat> and when I do I can come in here and I can set up all of my environment so I can change for example the plotter output and the size of the paper and so on. One of the things that you can also change up here in the upper right hand corner is your plot style table and you'll notice right now that mine is set to none. Um, the choices are ACAD, DWF, and so on. And when people need things to be all black, one of the common ones that they will choose is this monochrome right here. What monochrome does is it allows all of the colors to be just displayed as black. That way, if I go to preview, <clears throat> then they'll all show up on my plot preview and there are no problems. But one of the things you can do is you can create a custom color style table and then you can tell AutoCAD to find it regardless of what it is. So if I come in here, um, for example, I'm going to jump out of this real quick and I'm going to bring up a different color style table that I have. Let me navigate to it real quick. So I've created this color style table that I call all black. And if I look at this all black, you'll see that colors one, two, three, and so on, uh, no matter what the color is, they're going to show as black until I get all the way down here to color 250, and then color 250, 251, 252, 253, 4, and 5. These are going to be saying use object color, which allows me to have different shades of gray. Now, if I go to my layers dialog box, <clears throat> jump out of this real quick. If I go to my layers dialog box, you will see that if I just choose any color, for example, these are my colors 1 through 250 up here, and then these are my shades of gray. So I can specify any one of these, and using this all black, um, anything that I pick up here will show as black, but anything that I pick down here will be one of those shades of gray. So the advantage here is that I can, you know, have something where some of my layers will be black and some of them will be shades of gray, and I just called it all black to make it easy. The problem is, is when I come in here and I say, hey, there's, it's not finding this one called all black, even though I have it saved, uh, it doesn't know where to look for it. And I didn't save it in the same location as what AutoCAD saved it. So your solution is to create a profile in the options dialog box and then save that, that location to your profile. So if I go to the options dialog box <clears throat> and I come over here to files, this is where AutoCAD looks for all the different types of files that it's going to need. So for example, if I'm inserting a block or something, it's going to look in the support file search path. And um, if I want to do some other things, if I'm doing fonts and those kind of things, they're going to be located in here. But about halfway down the list, there's this one that says printer support file path. If I expand that one, you'll see there are different options in here. And the bottom one is the plot style table search path. So this is where AutoCAD looks for the different plot style table search uh, paths like ACAD and DWF and uh, monochrome and those kinds of things. If I expand this, you'll see that this is the default location where it's going to look. And you do not want to delete that one because if you do, you're going to lose all of those options like ACAD and monochrome and so on. But you can add additional search paths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this add button right here. You'll see that it adds another location that it will search and then I'll just browse to where I know that I have that one served, saved. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say it's in my CTB folder and it's not going to show up here, but I'll just choose open and you'll see here now that it's searching along that path and it's looking in that folder. So I can choose um, apply here. So now it's applying that and it will look for it. The last thing that I'll want to do after I've made this change is I will want to go over to the profiles and I'll want to uh, I will want to, let's say, um, 
not set at current. <clears throat> I'm going to come in here and export this. And I'm just going to export it to this downloads folder. It doesn't really matter. And I will just say, okay, this is, you know, AutoCAD um, or practical AutoCAD. Okay. And this is just my, uh, it's an ARG file. It's my profile. And I'll say, okay, let's save that. <clears throat> And then when I come in here, next time I come in, I can say, hey, let's load, you know, that one. So I'll say, let's import that ARG file. I happen to have saved that in my downloads folder. So I'll come in here and I'll find it. And there it is right there. Open that. I'll set that current. And now that I've set that current, it will always be able to come in here. And for that plot style table search path, it will already find it for me. Oops, uh, I want the, there it is right there, printer, and see no, see that it's already going to be there. So I can export that ARG file, then I can save it, and then anytime I go to a new computer, I can import that ARG file, set it current, and it will automatically look for that. So that when I come back here now to plot in the original drawing, when I drop this down, notice it's looking for that one and it finds it all black. And when I say preview, it's going to give me that all black and anything that's in the shades of gray will automatically be, dis be displayed as those shades of gray. So it's a great way to save time because I don't have to navigate or copy and paste to get that CTB file where I need it. Thanks for watching.